Hello, my friends. We're doing an art project today that's going to be a bunch of our favorite summer treats. And we're going to use some really cool materials to make that happen. And we're going to make some cotton candy and some ice cream using shaving cream. And we're going to make a popsicle and a snow cone using salt. So something you wouldn't normally think about when you think about delicious summer treats, we're going to use to make some cool textured art. So what I've done to get ready for this, this page is going to be our ice cream and our cotton candy. So I just cut out a triangle out of some brown paper and I drew some lines on it so it looks like an ice cream cone. And then this one, I cut a slightly longer triangle out of some white paper to be like the paper cone that cotton candy comes in. That's what it's supposed to be. And we're gonna make our ice cream and cotton candy using some shaving cream. So I already have our blue mixed up right here. I'll show you guys. It's super fluffy and really fun to mush around and play with. And then I'll show you how to make our next color, which is going to be pink. I chose blue and pink because those are my favorite cotton candy flavors. So I just have a regular bowl and I have a paintbrush. This one's a sponge brush. And all I'm going to do is take my shaving cream and squeeze a little bit of it into the bowl. There we go. I like shaving cream because it stands up and wobbles. Kind of, kind of looks like a frozen yogurt in there, I think. It's very fun. It's just a lot of fun to play with too and touch. Shaving cream is so weird and funny. And to make it pink, because I want my cotton candy to be half blue and half pink, I just have a little bit of red food coloring. You guys remember, anytime you're using food coloring, we're being careful in how we hold it, and we're putting the lid back on right away, because if food coloring touches anything besides what you want it to go on, it's going to stain whatever your thing is red. Your hands, your clothes, your table, anything is going to end up red if the food coloring touches it. So we're very careful when we use it. And I'm just going to add a couple drops right on top of my shaving cream. One, two, maybe three. That ought to do it. And... I'm putting my lid back on right away to be safe. Now, oops, that's not the paintbrush I want to use. I'm sorry. Now, I'm going to take my spongy brush and I'm going to give it a good stir. Stir it up really nicely until it's the color I want it to be. You guys can see my stirring. And it smells nice and clean too. It smells like fresh out of the shower. And there we go. You can see it's really still kind of wobbly and fun. It's really, really thick. So now I'm going to paint this onto my paper to make my ice cream and cotton candy. I think I'll start with my ice cream. One of my favorite flavors of ice cream is strawberry. So I thought pink would be perfect to be some strawberry ice cream. So I'm just going to dab it right here. I'm going to try to do this so you guys can see it. A little bit hard, but that's okay. And what I like about this is it kind of has the same texture as an ice cream. And you can paint as many scoops as you like. Maybe you want to put a scoop of blue on there and maybe have some bubblegum ice cream on top of your strawberry. Maybe you want to make some green ice cream and have it be mint or pistachio. Maybe you could even mix your colors together and make blueberry ice cream or blackberry ice cream or make some vanilla ice cream with yellow food coloring or mix them all to get chocolate. And there is my ice cream cone. You can see it's nice and fluffy and cool looking. If I wanted, I could add glitter to this. I could get out maybe some like smaller pieces of paper and make sprinkles. That would be really cool to go on my ice cream cone. And then now I'm going to do our cotton candy. So I'm going to take out my blue. My blue's been sitting a while, so it's a little bit softer, but that's okay. And I'll put the blue one down here so it's a little bit easier. It is easier to do this when it's on the table, but I definitely wanted you guys to be able to see what I was doing. And because this one's cotton candy, I think I'm going to make it a little bit fluffier. I'm going to leave it a little thicker on my page to really show off that it's cotton candy, which you guys know is so light and fluffy and delicious. 
just like a cloud of yummy, sweet goodness. So there's the blue half of my cotton candy all on there. You can see it's a little bit thicker than my ice cream. If I turn it sideways, can you see that? And now I'm gonna take out my pink and put on the pink half of my cotton candy. If I can do this one so you guys can see it a little bit better. A little bit hard to do. When you do this, you'll be doing it on a table. It's much easier than trying to hold it, but that's okay. I want everyone to see how much fun this project is. What's great about shaving cream is that if it gets on something, so not like the food coloring, if the shaving cream gets on something, it will wash right off. We still definitely want to be careful with it because this food coloring is colored which means it does have the ability to stain. But for the most part, it does wash right off of stuff. So no worries. And here's my cotton candy taking shape. And because this is swirly cotton candy, I might wanna bring some of my pink over so they kind of blend together. You can even mish them up in the middle a little bit. That's how real cotton candy would look, where the colors touch, they kind of blend. Pull it down a little bit too. And there we go. That is my puffy shaving cream art. There's my strawberry ice cream and my blue and pink cotton candy. That's part one of our project. Very cool. Maybe I'll add like a cherry on top of my ice cream or something. Now the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna put all of my shaving cream colors away. I'm done with those. So for our next project, we're making a snow cone. So here I have a white paper cone because that's what a snow cone goes in and a popsicle. So I just did a popsicle stick out of some brown paper. And so for this one, you're actually gonna want two pieces of paper. This is my piece of paper I'm doing my art on and then this one is gonna catch my salt because I wanna put my salt back in my salt shaker when I'm done to save the salt. So I wanna use the salt, right, on some good food. So I wanna put this paper down first and then my actual paper on top of it like this. That's how I'm gonna be doing this. Now, the first thing I need for this is just some regular glue. You don't have to use clear glue. This is just the kind of glue I have at home. Regular Elmer's crafting glue of any color is perfect for this. And I'm gonna open it up. And again, I'm gonna to try to show you guys. And I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit on here. The instructions I was following was telling me that I should just squeeze the glue in the shape I want, but I actually figured that that was a little bit thick when I did it. So I'm gonna take a paintbrush and I'm gonna move my glue in the shape that I want. It's easier to control that way and get a good shape. And it's a lot less wet and sticky and it still works just fine. So you don't need too, too much glue to make it beautiful and the way we want it. And you don't waste as much glue that way. I will add just a tiny bit more to make sure it's nice and thick everywhere, but I definitely did not need to squeeze all that glue out. So there I go. And now you can see I have a circle which makes a snow cone. So my triangle and a circle makes the shape of a snow cone on my paper. And now I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm gonna make a popsicle. And to make a popsicle, I am gonna do this on the page because it's pretty difficult. I am doing one straight line and then a giant, kind of like an upside down letter U to make my popsicle. So the bottom's flat and then I have two long sides. It's kind of like if you smashed a rectangle onto half of a circle is the shape I'm trying to make with my popsicle. I'll show you guys when I'm done smoothing it up so you can understand what I'm talking about. So I don't know if I'm doing a great job of explaining it. But there it is. So see what I mean? It's like a big rectangle and the top is just like a little half circle or it's like a line and then a big letter U shape to make the top. Like any popsicle you eat. You guys have eaten popsicles. You know what a popsicle looks like. All right, so I'm gonna put my gluey paintbrush aside. I don't need that anymore. I'm done with my glue, so I'll make sure the lid is screwed on. And now I need my salt. This is just regular table salt. This is what you have in your salt shaker when you're eating dinner. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this over where my glue is. This is why I wanted to do this on top of another piece of paper because when I'm done with my glue, I wanna make sure 
that all of the extra salt gets put back in the container. You might not want to use this salt once it's been on the glue for eating. So you could put it in a different container and maybe use it for a different experiment or something else you might need to use salt for that you don't necessarily eat. Some people put salt in their gardens. <laughs> maybe you want to do another project that has salt. I don't know, that's a question for mom and dad where you should put the salt when you're done. And now I have all the salt. You can see that, all the salt over where I put the glue. And I'm going to kind of fold my paper so all the salt goes to the middle. And then very carefully, I'm going to shake that onto the piece of paper that I put underneath because I don't want all of the extra salt. And I don't want to make a mess either. I want it all to get collected someplace that I can put it back into my salt shaker or put it in a different salt container if I want to use it for something else. So there's my extra salt. I'm keeping it nice and tidy by folding it up in this paper and I'm going to put it to the side because I don't need it anymore. It's not right now. All right, now you guys can see where we're at. We have these super salty white frozen treats. I thought it'd make a great snow cone, kind of the texture of a snow cone, that crushed up ice. And now I'm gonna give them some color. The way I'm gonna do that, there's actually two ways you can do this. You have some watercolors. Watercolors work great for this. If you don't have watercolors, you can water down some food coloring on a plate and it will do the same thing. But I have watercolors, so I'm gonna use these today. So all I'm going to do is I have my cup of water here and my paintbrush. And I'm gonna take some paint. I wanna make sure my paint is really wet. When I tried this out this morning, I realized that it needs to be pretty wet to do what you need to do. And I'm gonna put a little bit of color on where I put the salts. And I'll try to do this where you guys can see it too. But I'm just gonna get some color on to start and then I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm putting on some yellow right now. That's gonna be the first color on my popsicle. I like popsicles that have a lot of different colors. So I wanna make sure I make it really colorful and fun. When I think of summer, I think of things that are colorful and fun. So that's definitely how I want to make my popsicle. So now I'm gonna to try to do this so you guys can see. It really is a tabletop activity, but I wanna show you what I'm doing so you can do it too. So here is my popsicle. And I just have a paintbrush that's full of water. And when I touch where the color is, the color spreads. And when I add another color, it's going to blend with the other color I'm adding. So now that we have the yellow on there, let's add some orange. I think this is a yellow and orange popsicle. I'm getting a lot of orange on my paintbrush. My paintbrush is still really wet. Lots of water on there. And then I'm gonna add some orange. You guys can see how the orange is spreading. When I add more water, there goes my orange. I'll add lots more to that too. The popsicle is a wonderful treat to have on a hot summer's day. Popsicles are actually one of our favorite things to make in cooking group when we're all at school together over the summer. I like it because you can make a popsicle with juice or yogurt or all sorts of good things. See here, I'm gonna make sure my colors are blending together by adding more water. So I'm gonna take a break on my popsicle and I'm gonna start on my snow cone so we can see how that's gonna look. For my snow cone, I'm going to use blue. Blue is my favorite color of snow cone. The blue is pretty easy to see when I add it too. You can see how that's spreading when I add water to it some more blue in there. So it doesn't take a lot of paint to do this because the water will spread the color on the salt. Let's take some more yellow. I think I want to make this a really classic looking snow cone. And to me a snow cone is blue, yellow, and red. Those are my favorite snow cone colors. I'm gonna make my yellow a little bit brighter by taking some water, spreading that all around. There's my yellow stripe in the middle. And then now I'll add my red. Maybe the snow cone is 
coconut, pineapple, and strawberry. That sounds really good. Nothing better on a really hot day than a nice cold snow cone. And now my snow cone is done. I'll show you guys my finished product. There it is. I love it. It looks just like a real snow cone because the salt kind of looks like the crushed ice you get in a snow cone. Now I'm almost done with my project. I'm just going to go back and finish off my popsicle and add a little bit of purple because that's one of the colors I haven't used yet. And I decided maybe I wanted some grape on my popsicle. I do like grape flavor. And this is fun because you can imagine all the different flavors that your ice creams could be. It doesn't have to be a flavor you've tried before. Maybe this is, I don't know what else is purple. Maybe it's a plum flavored popsicle. <laughs> I've never had one of those before. It sounds like it actually be pretty good. So I'm just finishing up and I'll show you guys my finished product and let you go try it on your own. This is really, really fun. All right, ta! There is my finished ice creams, my popsicle, and my snow cone. And then here is my cotton candy and my ice cream. So I have all of these yummy summer treats to decorate my house with now. And they're really getting me excited and in the mood for a wonderful summer. My cotton candy smells really good. It definitely doesn't smell like cotton candy, but it smells really clean and yummy. All right, my friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I can't wait for summer. Gosh, the next time I see you, it will be summer. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.